Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Cryptic Response, and I am once again back. I am trying to maybe clean up my mess a little bit. As you can see, we've got some stuff going on here. Got all kinds of lava going on in the background. Got my shifters going and everything else, but I kind of need to maybe clean up this a little bit because this whole power generation thing back here i can do better i can do it a lot better so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna um get this set up a little bit different did get the last time we got this going and everything else and now we are trying to get that running again got some lumion ingots because i need them um You'd get some hardened glass. Hardened glass is pretty simple in there. You get some obsidian, you get some um get some obsidian sand and quartz. Which I did do some mining. Not mining, I guess sieving. And got about a thousand freaking nether quartz and um nether wart. But the way you get soul sand, you gotta sieve soul sand to get those. And that is only with these guys right here. The um, andesite. Nets, or meshes. So, get the andesite meshes, you throw them on there, and a little bit of automation going on here. It just extracts it, puts it in my thing, and then these will hold the soul sand. So, in order to get soul sand, you gotta have sand. And you need an occultism fire, which the occultism fire was kind of simple after you got the idea of it. So, over here, and you dump your sand into the occultism spirit fire. Okay, going into my inventory, let's go. So, I'm gonna control shift and a hit Q on the sand. And there we go. And we've got our, all three of them. Wait, there was three. Okay, there's the other one. All right, all three of them. Yeah, and that sounds, the sounds are loud, so I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is how you get soul sand. And we're gonna throw. One in here, one in, one in. Because I could use some extra, what you call it, anyway. Um, okay, so, on to what we're doing over here. Oh, and in case you didn't, you don't get this, this is where I was making my obsidian. Is there anything in there? There is stuff in there. Oh, that's my coal, or charcoal, whatever it is. Where's my other lava bucket? There we go. So I literally just made an outline of this stuff. That was... That hurt. It hurt. So painful. Okay. And then we get this. And then I'm going around here. So the design that I'm doing is like purposely so that way I don't have to adding more water this is the hardest part there is a um there's two things cyclic has a validifier and i believe thermal expansion has a freezer so we're gonna skip that one put that in there Get that one and put that one there and there we go we've got this three pools of water being surrounded by this you get out your freaking trusty dusty handy dandy freaking diamond pickaxe and make sure you got like an angle because you don't want to dig it down into the dirt actually pickaxes take a little bit to dig into the dirt so it'd be fine we get this out and then the whole center just becomes stuff a the achievement ice bucket challenge all right and we've got 18 obsidian so you just repeat and get your obsidian out 
it's to me to say the least but it still works thing it, it's nowhere near as time consuming as it could be if you didn't have freaking vein miner or whatever the thing is called in here on this um mod pack okay so what it is i did i kind of screwed up last episode and i was not doing things right it's a multi-cycle injectors that affect the dynamos auxiliary reaction chamber also affects them but we're going to be working on the dynamos right here so we're going after that injection type of deal now this thing has 12 million rf and we're gonna bring that up because i just got hardened glass i think i need signalum do i have signalum in here? yes i do okay we're good right there um do i have iron nugget do i have the nuggies oh okay oh that's what i was doing oh 63 of them should do for now anyway get those signalum things down where or where have red thing good thing is lost to see um one two four how many do i have the five i want five of these so i need a lot more. that's two three four that'll make five okay so what else do i need got it all okay so we've got our five now now with this this brings these machines to tier two which is speed and energy is what it affects the most so we're gonna do this so from what we can see here this can now do 100 Max production is about 120 RF per kick. But we want to get these cyclic injectors because with three of them, it'll bring our efficiency up to 137, I think it is. One time, 1.1. 1 .1. So it's like an extra 10%. So yeah, it should be around 130. Okay, so let's see if I have everything I have, everything I need for one. Let me plate. Okay, anyway, that'll work for this. I need aluminum plates. So let's get this motor up and upgraded. So we've got an efficiency of 133%, 120 max RF per tick, and all of this other good stuff. Let's get this down. Now, about a little bit of doing, because I want to get some energy generation going for this stuff. So that way I don't have to worry about this ever again. Or at least, well, no, it would be ever again. It's pretty damn good what I can do. I've been testing on other worlds. I've seen other dimensions. No, there we go. Okay, we're gonna throw a stack of this in there. So this is producing 120 RF per tick. Um, I think we need to change this. Blue. There we go. That's blue. Okay. We've got that going. We need three more of those things for this. Voila. Three. Has all three. Has all three. So with all of these going... We'll be able to get 340 RF, I just swear I shift clicked, RF per tick into that battery, which is going to be way more than what we can, okay, what did I do wrong just, so, blue, blue. The left, right, and top are going to be blue. Orange is out the front. And that should be... What is going on? Am I really? Oh, you're going, huh? 112. 
This is running at 32, so it shouldn't be. Where is the rest of that power going? Okay. You're outputting. You're outputting. You're outputting. Oh, the cables have to charge. There we go. The cables had to charge. So all of the machines are charged. The cable is charged. Because each one of those, each one of these redstone flux cables holds X amount of power. So it's kind of like a small battery. And then we'll start getting, like, as you can see, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like almost, ten, it's almost a thousand F per second. Or like a hundred thousand RF already. It's, and, and we've got stuff going here. But now you see why this needs to be upgraded. We're going to make a few of these bad boys. This is going to do is throw this thing in the overdrive. Yeah. Good. We'll get all this lead because we're going to need a lot of it. Where's my fluid duct? Flux duct. Okay, so that's in overdrive, and it's running, and we've got another stack of lead to put over here. Let's do this. And then just click, and then in the silver. Um, I can just do that. that. Man, this doesn't work. Why? This thing full? Not full. What the hell? There's that. Okay, anyway. We got that part done. Okay, so one of the things that I was doing is I was using all of these furnaces for all kinds of stuff. And what we're going to start doing is getting some redstone flux. So, Redstone flux, not flux, redstone um, furnace. Furnace, let's get one of the, I need bricks, copper gears. All I need is one, which was surprising to me, but all you need is one. Um, I have none of those slabs. Why do I always get that? Because I'm doing the wrong one. Those are brick slabs, so this is making... Did I only have four? Then we get our redstone furnace. Okay, so that's a furnace down. We want to... Where? Upgrade that kit. There's that. Now for this, what I'm going to need is these three. We already have three of them, so I'll leave them as is. So I'm going to take this out for right now. Throw this bad boy here. We are going to upgrade this to this. And then this, will be doing that. Now, this furnace needs logs. out of the way okay so we're gonna need to um use this phyto phytogenic isolator and start making stuff with it so What I want is enough space down here to do some stuff. So that can go right there. Now it has power. 
I would also like the upgrade for this. So let's get an upgrade. I knew I was going to need one, two, two. Got that and get one of these. One of these and two of those. Actually, well, no, the growing one. Here's and then. Over here, do I need it? I can go in there? No. Okay, so there's that. Um, two of them, and there we go. There we go. Now we've got some speed upgrades. We need that in there. We're going to need some Fido Grow, which did I make any, or because I grew flowers? So. Yes, I have quite a bit of it. Okay. Put this in there. Okay, so now we need some water for this bad boy. Which... Get rid of that. That makes it a freaking clear path right there. Um... See, there's a reason we needed a tin... Ears in order to make the things ACC emulator well, I need one of these um let's get some buckets because oh I wanted to do flu fluix ducks on this one so let's get the aqueous accumulator um Brass. I believe I have brass. Okay, so if I remember, then what will... Bronze. There we go. These are liquid. I kind of want a couple. All right, let's go with that many. Oh, we're going to set our aqueous accumulator down right here. We're going to... This thing. We're going to... Right here. Here. We're going to set this up. We don't need to give this any... I mean... That might be a reason why the other ones are a little bit better. But still. Let's get us... An input on that side. All right, there's in there. Let's get these thermal, the servo attachment. Let's see what this does now. Is there a fluid one? I'll bet you there's a turbo servo. Fluid duct servo, deny list. Enabled. Are you going to work? Well, let's add the fluid to the filter list.
do I have? I do. This is like old comp. It's not working. Why is it not working? There we go, finally. Did I turn it off? Nope, oh, this one's set to ignored. It's just gonna keep you pumping out water. There we go, now we're growing some tree. Yes, it's about damn time. Okay, so. Not only are we growing trees, but we're growing apples and stuff like that. So, we kinda need some more base here. Some barrels, not some barrels, no barrels. Um, oak logs, yes, let's just freaking dislock it over. Um, drawers took me a minute, but I got it. W. Sixty-four. That'll make us a whole eight. Oh. All we need is three, but it'll make us eight. Where? They're they're really cool. Um. Do this, this, and this. And then we should... Nope, nope, nope. Come back. Thank you. No! Dang it. Okay, now I can open this, get this, get this, and this. Um. So we'll throw that in there. Apples in here. And wood. In there. Okay, so... So, this is from the mod pipes. Um, they're very simplistic, easy to f stuff. I've got them over there. So, I mean, I wanted to pull clear things with stuff running through it, stuff like they used to have. I'll have to wait until I get mechanism up and running, which, honestly, after this, it'd be a thing. Um, we're gonna put the bottom. Oh yeah, huh? Got that going, and that'll just drain out all of that stuff into there, except for this. And there's that. Okay, so I need a return for this thing, which is not gonna be in this underneath. Okay, so how about I um these 
these ones I want here because it'll be easy to deal with. Those ones there. Okay, so we're going to be pulling. Pulling. This is going to go up. Sometimes when you do that, it'll remember that it wasn't supposed to be attached, and then it'll be. So we're going to change this to blue. There we go. Now all of that is just going to go into the no matter what. Um, we also need to bring that one. Didn't attach there. That shouldn't. And then we're going to put that to input. All right, so now all of our logs are going to be coming into here, get burned. We'll have them coming out around here to a freaking uh, drawer. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to bunnies everywhere. Okay, so. We could do that, but what I want to do here, okay, so you can go away. I can put you here. I can set that to red. I can hit it auto eject, and then that'll be going into there. Now, I can use that as a buffer, and this is going to fill up this one first, but it'll keep doing it. And this is going to go on indefinitely until I get, like, stuff that I can't get in there. Um, but I do need, like, Fido Grove. So, these. With all of my appetite. No, oh, it's not appetite. Fight ogro. Fight ogro. There we go. 256. Then we're going to uh, get under here. Set it to export. Then we will get some. Um, supposed to be logs in there. Um, this is gonna lock. That's running because it has logs in it. Okay, we should be good now. So that was that. We've got 245 Fido Grow. Now we've got to take care of this Fido Grow. I think for now. And just leave it as is. So, oh. 
like that for now. Um. And then at this point, how much energy have we got? Look, 4.89 million. Um, we've got some appetite here. Throw the tin in here. Right. And now, this thing in scale, I can get with just that one burner and just that one that one um phytogenic isolator pumping out um logs. This will back. This will backlog, like big time. It had already done it. It had already done it, and fill up this energy tank just with these three. I can get a fourth one, and it'll still keep those all powered. Which I have accomplished my goal. It was a bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be, but I have accomplished my goal. Yes, I have. It's awesome! Yay! Um, I'll have that last bucket pretty quickly. Is this full? No, it's not. So, like 16 buckets and then one bucket. At any rate, uh, thank you for hanging out. And hopefully, I don't know, maybe you can use this build and get yourself some good power. You have like multiple of these going. I believe I'm going to next be working on getting item storage for all of this crud because this is a lot of stuff. And I might be building an island out here. I think building an island is more of a live stream type deal. So I think my next deal is going to be like my next live stream is going to be a um, build for another island. I don't know. Maybe we'll just make the island next stream, the next time I stream, and that'll be that. But until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.